We are back now with a remarkable woman and fellow Texan, Joanna Gaines. Mm -hmm. A decade ago, the show Fixer Upper launched Joanna and her husband, Chip, into the spotlight and into the hearts and of home renovating lovers everywhere. Yeah, Joanna reflects on her journey from shy little girl to heading up her Magnolia empire in her memoir. It's a beautiful book. It's called The Stories We Tell. Here's Joanna in her own words. It started with a picture you see on the cover of this book because that little girl, the one with the missing tooth and the messy hair, she knew who she was before the world chimed in. And part of writing my story down has been in hopes of finding her again. Things had gotten blurry. I'd gotten blurry. My 44th birthday was just around the corner and I was realizing for the first time that it meant I was nearly halfway through this life of mine. I looked around at what I'd built with equal parts gratitude and exhaustion. The last 20 years have been a heck of a ride. My adrenaline was slowing, revealing in its absence insecurities and unhealthy habits from way back when that I'd been moving too fast to deal with. I started to experience anxiety for the first time in my life. It was taking me longer to be inspired, but less time to become tired. And because my world kept me busy, I could still feel the wheels of my life humming. What became harder to tell is where they were headed. Oh. Joanna's memoir, it's called The Stories We Tell. We're so happy that you're here. You're here. So this is so interesting to me. You've documented your life throughout. You've taken a pen to paper. You've scribbled yeah. down your thoughts and emotions. Mm -hmm. And we kind of want to get into the little girl yes. who grew up with a Korean mom and an American dad and was trying to find who she was. Yeah. Yeah. How, how, how was that navigating those waters? When did you first realize, wait a minute, there's something different about yeah. me. I'm noticed. It was the year of the little girl on the cover. Yeah. So I was six years old, which is why it was really meaningful that I put her there because yeah. I feel like halfway through that kindergarten year, I started realizing, oh, the name calling, I felt different, like all the things that really started happening that year. And, you know, for the next two or three years, it was a consistent theme, but I would just brush it off. Yeah. And I, I think because I did feel embarrassed by it, a little bit of shame, I didn't know how to process it with my mother who was full Korean. I didn't yeah. want to hurt her. So yeah. I would come home and kind of process by myself, which, you know, I was trying to explain this to Chip a while back because he's so positive and he's yeah. like tell me what went through your head I was like as a six-year-old little girl I'm believing what they're saying I'm thinking oh being different isn't a good thing yeah. so now how do I need how do I fit in how do I talk like them how do I eat like them how do I sound like them and it's this conscious shift that I I remember moving into as a six-year-old yeah I mean it's so interesting because I think in so many ways we can all relate to this feeling of not feeling pretty enough good pretty enough, enough. Yeah. like the others mm -hmm. and so then I mean it's so interesting we were just talking about that yeah. so then you laugh at the jokes that you don't even find funny right you change your middle name right what yeah. what did I you do. lose <laughs> what do you feel like you loss that you're trying to come back to. Yeah, I think the picture, I showed up even for the camera and was like, I'm great. And my hair was wild. I'd had a yeah. tooth missing, yeah. but I didn't care. I was just, yeah, my free. spirit was light. I was free. I felt confident about who I was as a six-year-old. Uh -huh. And for me, now 44 years yeah. old, it's yeah. like, how do I go back and regain some of that spirit? I, I just think that's valuable. The older we get, Sometimes I think we're just moving that way, but it's like this full circle moment yeah. of me Going meeting back. her again. Yes. yes. I think a lot of us, especially if you're a, par a child of immigrants like yes. I am too, you almost try to become invisible. Maybe they won't That's, notice yes. me. I'll get small back right. here. I'll be in the back shy. row. I'll get shy. People yes. said, use your playground voice, they yeah. used to say to me. And I was like, oh. no, no, but I, oh. like, yeah. I like not being seen. Yes. And one of the trickier parts for me growing up, and I don't know how it was for you, was when it came to dating. Because dating was a thing. Now, you're gorgeous. Maybe it was easy for you. But what I was... Didn't date. You didn't no. date. Did you Chip ever get asked... Chip was second boyfriend. But did you ever get asked out when, the, like, um, the junior high school dances and all that stuff? So, you know, I had this facade of, hey, I don't... It's like self-protection mm -hmm. that I learned at an early age. If you can put this facade up of maybe like I'm not approachable or I, so yeah. everyone was always a little scared of me because they couldn't tell my face was, you know, I was kind of stoic. Yeah. But going through life like that, I think it was just so guarded and self-protected that I think they could sense that. Like Chip always jokes, like I was terrified to hold your hand the first couple <laughs> oh. weeks, you know, like I just, my, you gave that I off. was so guarded that Did I you want someone to ask yeah. you out. 
as um, a... I, for sure. But I also think the fear of not believing in the value of who I was yeah. or that I was good enough. I, I was always scared it would be like first date and then, but the depth yeah. was missing because yeah. I had hidden that, like who I was. And so yeah. that's why when I moved to New York when I was 22, yeah. all that kind of met me. My, I felt like my soul met my body yeah. in a weird way. The experience here yeah. and really diving into the culture, the Korean culture. Yes. Yes. There was something about that that shifted and I felt like I was whole. Yeah. Where before, I feel like I was only showing people pieces uh -huh. of myself out of self-protection. Yeah. Uh -huh. You know, the other thing you write a lot about, which was very interesting to me, is sort of this perfectionism. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That you, you know, needed to have control, control. over yeah. yes. everything. Yeah. Uh, when did, was there ever a breaking point where you're like, gosh, this is controlling I, I me. Oh, yeah, it's also, yeah. this control is controlling yeah. me. Yeah. But I think as I was writing, I realized how control and perfectionism showed up different in yeah. different seasons. Yeah. But as I was writing, I realized, oh, when that creeps up in me, there's an insecurity that's still... And what is that insecurity? The need to prove yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that I am good enough. Yeah. Yeah. I am yeah. I'm yeah. valuable. Yeah. That right. all goes back to that little girl who started believing she wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. And then at 44, I was like, the fact that sometimes I'm still driven by that means I haven't really tackled this yet. So it was a... To, for me, it was a deep dive of getting there and at least identifying these things that are themes in my life that may never go away, but at least I know how to identify them and move past them. Well, you are on a precipice of change. Yes. Something's going to change because it's coming out of your pores. Yeah. You, you say, I feel like this. I'm I feeling sense like... It. Yes. You sense that something is going to change. Mm -hmm. What kind of a change do you feel is coming? Is it a professional change, a personal change, yeah. an internal change? I think it all starts, for me, it always starts this internal, just gut yeah. instinct. Yeah. So. And I felt like with that instinct, I need to ready myself. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever it is. I don't right. know what it is. Yeah. And that's the process of writing the book of what yeah. habits do I need to leave behind, what yes. lies and thoughts, but yes. what do I need to carry? with me moving forward that has served me well. So yeah. for me, that was a really important what part. What have you left back? The fear of failure. Yeah. Um, the idea that I have to control, that everything has to be perfect. Yeah, I mean, that's right. not even possible. Yeah. And I know it's that not. now. Yeah. And it makes me sick to think that that's how I operate yes. for so long. But, like, get the intention yeah. right. Why am I doing what I'm doing? Yes. We're going to take a quick break. Yeah. Oh, we, we, we could go break. on. We don't have to. <laughs> There's something called commercials. Okay. I don't know. We'll be back after this. <laughs> um, that's so good. That's really good. It's so interesting. We are back with Joanna Gaines. She's written a beautiful, beautiful memoir. It, she's hearing stories from her past and looking ahead to the next chapter yeah. in her life. And we were just talking about you and your mom, and I was thinking about this as well, but have you ever shared the stories mm. of what you felt like when you were a little girl with your mom, who is, yeah. I'm sure, super proud because she's seen what you've created and built in your life? I, when the manuscript yeah. was yeah. finished, I printed it out and I wanted her to be the first yeah, person to read it. And every five seconds she'd call, oh, I'm crying. You know, yeah. I think I had to write it out to really explain, but for her even to just hear what her little girl was processing, like it was a sweet moment for us. Yeah. Then it shifted to where it's like, I am so intrigued. Yeah. Yeah, Alex. Um, <laughs> I'm so intrigued by how, what was yeah. she doing as well, how we were feeling? living yeah. this life? I was just trying to, you know, make it and yes. be fine. She yeah. was doing Happy the same face. thing yeah. in her own little well, world. And, and she and she was going through racism. Oh, you know, people were saying terrible things. When yeah. we were in the grocery store, I mean, numerous times people would say something, and she would just act like she didn't hear. So I'd look at her to see, and she would Are just, we reacting? she'd straighten yeah. up her shoulders. She'd always, she was like 4'10", 4'11". <laughs> she'd wear really high heels and just straighten up. She just... Straighten up. Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So I always thought it didn't affect her. What? Look, did, yeah. That, and I think look at look at your parents. Your parents. They oh have now gosh. just celebrated oh, their 50th years. anniversary. What What have you learned uh, um, from them? I mean, talk about the most different two humans. Yeah. Uh, and that even familiar. being familiar. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Exactly. <laughs> being from two different parts of the world and coming together and making it work. And mm. the idea, I mean, when you hear their story, it's just unbelievable. Just her moving here when she was 19, not knowing any English, having to fit in really quick to this culture. Um, and then just to think 50 years later, all the ups and downs well, but they are still so, they still I, hold hands. I love how your dad, when they were courting, they'd only met a couple of times, yes. wrote her a letter, yes. said, sent a, sent a plane ticket, mm -hmm. and said, asked her. He said, will you marry will me? You marry me. But if you 
aren't, can you send it <laughs> no. back? Because I need the money. <laughs> need the money. Um, but by the way, she hopped. What does it tell you about your mother? Oh, she yeah, hopped she on the fabric. She didn't know the language. She yeah. went for it. Yep. Did, she, did you ever say, like, how did you she, roll the dice? Yeah, she just said, I was so in love. But oh. she said when she moved here, it was in Wichita, Kansas, when they moved, that she felt like a caged bird for years because she didn't understand the language, even the culture. So it just felt so isolating. Yeah. So just to hear all of that, I mean, their journey is just incredible. What does she think of you now? She must, or your, what do they think she of what is, you've built? She, every time she sees, she touched my face. Yeah. yeah. Um, she texted me right before yeah. this, and oh. she always says, have a fun. Yeah, have no, a fun. I, I love she, that. And you know what? She's so fun. She's I feel like best. I've, you, you know, I've, I've gotten to spend time with you now for, I don't know, a decade yes. longer. Yes. And I feel like you are having more fun now. Yeah. I feel like once you get past all the stuff, yeah. the junk, yeah. and then you realize I have this one beautiful life to live and I can choose how I live it. I can choose how I carry and hold my story. It's just so much worth the work so that I step in as whole as I can so yeah. I can see things and I can enjoy moments in a really rich and intentional You've way. You've built a beautiful family. Two of your daughters are here. Yes. Where it's are me. they? Oh. Ella and Emmy. Hi. Oh, and one and of them Emmy. designed what did she help design the cover? Ella, Ella, yes. Ella it's beautiful. <laughs> Ella, it's beautiful. You know, Emmy, you're amazing. And you have a son that's going off to college. Going off to college. What's um, happening? How is that possible? I don't know. And and just the perspective of having an almost 18 year old and then this four year old. I feel like it's such a gift. Is the four year old it's just like, like oh, teaching you all the magic. He is the. He's like my little wizard. Like at four, Look I'm at like oh. I can learn more from crew. Then, I mean, just the way he teaches me to live and Look to notice things. Chasing are, you, butterflies. are you a different parent with him than you were? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, girls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little more light and like, a what do you more want to do? Yes. Yeah. Um, well, not so controlling. Well, yet. they ended up Crazy. just great. They so, sure did. You know wow. what? And you're, you're, you're writing your story so that they know they can oh. always be enough in yeah. themselves. Amen. And it's, it's beautiful. beautiful. We love you. Yeah. All women should Yes. Read and the stories we tell, it's an incredible book, is out today. To check it out, head to. Today.com slash books. Beautiful book.